Linda Lambert says one good conversation can shift the direction of change. My name is Kaylee Shattuck and today I'm wanting to talk about the connection between the I language and the interpersonal relationship with my dad. I'm really wanting to cover three main points. Um, the first one is kind of how I language happens um, in my relationship with my dad and the second would be why it's so important and kind of just what I language is. And the third is kind of what I want to do about the situation um, and better my use of I language with my dad. So some research that I did um, for this topic was Prusak and Bernard did an experiment and with some of their findings, they saw how a child's right to an open future was affected by how their parents raised them. So this relates to my interpersonal relationship with my dad because in their story, they found that the most, Im the most important problem to address was how prepared um, the children were to be on their own. Uh, this leads to my first point in how I language situations have occurred um, with my interpersonal relationship with my dad about this spe specific topic. So my dad was making points about my future and I was feeling like both of my parents have prepared me enough for my future. So he was saying things that I was starting to kind of get defensive about. And I was, I was saying things like, you don't understand the things that I do or the things that you guys have taught me. And I feel like I'm fully prepared. And so I was saying a lot of you statements rather than I statements. And so kind of stuff like that. Um, there were other situations, but that was kind of the one that I wanted to share. Uh, so I was making an assumption about how he was thinking I was as a person rather than just explaining how he was making me feel. So this leads into my second point in being why I language is so important um, in relationships specifically. So Carrie Hutchinson says in chapter three that telling the other person the interpretation you've created for his or her behavior and your feelings that come from those who acknowledge that you are upset because of an interpretation you are having not specifically because of what he or she did. She also says, it is simply, so I language, this is why it's important. Um, it's simply a way to get to the root of the problem faster by giving your partner a shortcut to your innermost thoughts while reducing the chance of a defensive response. So, um, in turn, I language helps remo remove the person from the problem in this case, if I were to explain how my dad was making me feel, he talked about me being prepared for my future and the conversation would have shifted directions. This leads to my final point in being that I want to use I language effectively with my dad so we can make our relationship move in a positive direction. So I'm wanting to use more I statements rather than you statements and rather than making assumptions about the things that I think that he thinks about me rather than just tell him how um, he is making me feel. Okay, thank you.